I'm planting some lovely gifts that Paul dropped by this morning. These Sylvia's. He said there's red ones and purple ones and they smell delicious. And these are lavenders that I'm planting that somebody else gave me. And then here are babies of a plant. Oh gosh, ran a blank. Ran a blank. These will, um, oh great. Yeah, that's just what I needed, I've met. Right in amongst the lavender. <laughs> um, the seedlings there will grow this year and then flower and they uh, go like 15 foot up in the air. Look at you. Look at you. That was a surprise. Now if I start moving the wheelbarrow, are you gonna come off? Are you gonna come off? Yeah. Let's see, if I start moving the wheelbarrow, are you gonna stay on or fall off? Oh, I can't do the, I can't, a wheelbarrow has two handles. I can't film him and do the wheelbarrow at the same time. It just doesn't work. Nope, it doesn't work. You're such a cat. But the bees, this Catoniaster is alive with bees. And the bees that you're seeing here are tiny bees. They're not the normal honeybees. They're kind of wild woodland bees. They're not the black Irish bee. Here's, there's one right there. These are very, very small honeybees. They're smaller than your normal commercial hive bees. And it's not the black Irish bee either. I don't know what bee, honey bee it is. I don't know what it's called, but it's very, very small. Let's see if I can get a measure of it with my, um, let's see. If I can, so that you can see how small, oh no, see they don't like my hand. They think my hand is gonna do something disastrous to them, like squish them but they're very, very, very small. There, you can see how small it is. Whereas a normal honeybee is a lot bigger. So these are very small honeybees, a kind of wild Irish species rather than the black Irish. Not sure what it's called. Somebody hopefully will know. Anyway, oven mitt has gotten off the uh, gotten off the um, wheelbarrow. So I'm gonna go plant Sylvia's and lavender and Inca's watching the bees. Are you gonna get stung?